pay tribute to Mama Grace Onyango, the first female mayor and MP in Kenya, who died on Wednesday evening in Kisumu County, describing her as a leader and trailblazer who illuminated Kenya's political landscape with a stride of the firsts. And as Laura Oteno reports, local leaders also call on the current political establishment to copy from the soft but firm style leadership which Mama Grace Onyango applied throughout her life. Mourners continued to stream into the home of Grace Akechonyango, Kenya's first woman legislator and the country's first woman mayor in post-independent Kenya. Mama Grace, as she was commonly referred to in the political and social landscape, died on Wednesday evening at the Jaramogio Gingaudenga Hospital after ailing for a while. And, uh, Mourners present, recalling what they referred to as the golden days when Mama Grace, as the first mayor of Kisumu in 1964, championed for development and inclusion. Uh, Mama Grace has not been a very controversial leader. She was a person whom you could reach. She was humble. And in development, if you want to see these street lights, Mama Grace was the first person to put the lights. And Mama Grace was the first mayor to develop Kisumu Kakamega Highway. In as much as we've lost her, but we celebrate her because she shows us, she showed us an example. That even in that quietness, in that humility, you can still be a really a great leader without being abrasive. As a mere leader, Raila Odinga, referring to the late Grace Onyango as an astute defender of her roots and the lone voice of Wananchi at a time when it was imminently fatal to stand up and be counted. Hello. For her family, she was a matriarch that held the family unit together, especially after the death of her husband Onyango Baridi, shortly after she was elected into parliament. We have lost a mother, we have lost a father. We have lost a teacher. We have lost a friend. This is one lady who could pray for all of us. Mama Grace Onyango died aged 98 at the Jaramogio Gingaudenga Hospital on Wednesday evening as the world celebrated the International Women's Day. Citizen TV.